Okay, so I'm just gonna do my makeup while talking about this whole thing because the one thing, the first thing that can make you feel a lot better when you're depressed is working on yourself, just dressing up, putting on makeup. For my makeup, I just need to put on my contact lenses because I honestly can't see shit <laughs> without it. Next, I'm just gonna use my sunscreen because sun can be a bitch sometimes and you need to take care of your skin and so should I. Speaking of protecting, the second thing that we can use to help you when you are depressed is to take care of someone or something. In other words, when you have a pet, it helps you way more than you can think of it. And of course, my primer. The third thing you can do to feel a lot better is to shower, but not just any shower. I'm gonna need you to do it when you actually feel comfortable, when you can actually enjoy it. Come out and you know, just enjoy the whole era of <laughs> being clean, being fresh. I'm doing it pretty much every day because even though it's really hard when you are especially depressed but it helps a lot it can actually get you standing when you don't even want to stand I'm going to the gym so I usually use like three different <laughs> sort of concealers anyway so another thing that you need to pay attention to the fourth thing is to learn something new and it's pretty easy now that the internet is available available for pretty much everyone I mean I started learning how to animate through you know the internet I started learning how to speak in different languages because of the internet I learned how to do a lot of shit because of that and honestly I'm proud of every single skill I learned and that helps me a lot sometimes when I feel a little bit depressed. Another thing is to sleep enough, basically, not too much, not too little. Like, even if you have to drag yourself out of the bed, do it, because the more you sleep, the more you want to sleep. There's no enough of it. Um, other than that, you need to make sure that, you know, you have a set schedule of sleeping, which is, like, very hard for me to keep personally so I usually need to like take medications but you know not the bad ones things like melatonin and then I just sleep like a baby <laughs> speaking of schedules one thing that helps me personally a lot is that I have you know a schedule book and I write even the smallest thing that I want to do today, for example, today, and then I scratch it out when I finish it. So even if I don't finish all of it, the way I see that hey, at least I finished this one or that one, it really helps because it gives me a sense of accomplishment, you know, and I don't usually forget what I needed to do today. For the reference, this is my schedule book. Like, for example, I haven't really planned anything for this week, but I know on 12 I need to, you know, do my skincare. <laughs> so it's really just, you know, telling yourself like, hey, you need to do this. So if you do it, good for you. If you couldn't, well, you just didn't have the time. Since I'm going to the gym, I need to mention this too. One thing that really helps me is exercising. Which I know a lot of you are going to be like, are you fucking kidding me? I can't even get out of bed. But, you know, it's all about dragging yourself to do different things or having someone that can help you to, you know, push you through doing different things. And when you do exercises, when you go to the gym, for example, do taekwondo, you know, swim, anything, 
you get some of the good hormones and I even like the way you know sometimes you can lose some weight because don't get me wrong it's not just about the beauty standards and everything it's also because personally you know I was very sick even though I wasn't that overweight and then I started losing it and it wasn't just my sickness going away it was also my mental health getting better and it, first of all yes I liked how I was looking afterwards better than before that and also because I didn't have to carry around a lot of extra ways that I just didn't need to carry around I mean imagine me carrying around this at first it's like nothing it doesn't even weigh anything but let me hold it for like I don't know three days it's gonna kill me <laughs> I mean sure it's hard to you know go to the gym when it's so boring uh, but if you have like a gym buddy or like if you get to meet someone there it would be way easier if you can afford it and get a trainer that would be amazing because you can talk to someone and you know learn how to even do everything instead of just you know <laughs> lifting the first thing that you find or like you know the fact that you know that you're going towards something good you're doing something for yourself it really helps your mental health and a lot of people just use things like sex to you know get rid of the pent-up energy and frustrations but I think sports do a really good job on that as well another thing that helps a lot like <laughs> a hell lot is listening to different sorts of music even if it's sad because you know sometimes you need that sadness you need to spend even like a week being sad even crying if you need to just so you can just forget about the whole shit and move on you know i can't really talk while applying my eyeliner so give me minutes <laughs> If it's not obvious, it starts from here and a little bit of here. And I do my eyeliner differently, but lately I'm really into this one. <laughs> but you know, it's not just about listening to music, it's also about like playing an instrument or singing. And trust me, everyone can sing. The whole ideal about you know, you can't sing, you don't have a good voice, that's bullshit. As long as you learn how to use the techniques and as long as you're relaxed you know because the anxiety can really mess a lot of things up as long as you do that you can sing and you don't have to be a professional singer to sing you can just you know do you another thing that i can tell can help you it might seem a little bit weird is breaking something you know when i used to work at a hair salon it was really hectic i was pretty young it was hard to deal with everything you know so then i was like okay fuck it i bought you know a box of glasses and went away made sure i wasn't hurting myself and just broke them and then I felt so much better it's not something I do that often I mean I almost never do it but when you're like you know done and you're like I'm either gonna hurt myself or these glasses <laughs> do it with the glasses and you know some people are like well I like singing but I don't want to sing but you know like the whole thing about singing is that you let something big out and I remember for a while I just wanted to scream and you know it's weird to scream anywhere so I went to an amusement park <laughs> and you know it wasn't even just to you know get on board with those things I just wanted to scream and it helped really helped so that's another silly thing that can actually help you I think it's good 
not done, but good. About the whole screaming thing, just make sure you don't do it too hard. That you would hurt, you know, your throat. But just do it in a way that you can actually just, you know, release some tension <laughs> from yourself. But the most important thing when it comes to this sort of thing is to remember that it's gonna pass. And you're just having, you know, an episode. Even try to share it with the people that you trust. Because you go through it. It happens. You can't stop it. And whatever I just told you right now, there are just ways that you can distract yourself from it. Not to prevent it. Because honestly, you cannot prevent that. But you can distract yourself. And you can wait until those bad emotions, those tensions go away. And they always do. It can take so long. For me, sometimes it would even take like a month. But it always goes away. And you just need to understand that this is not your fault. This is not something you can just, you know, fix. And when you need some time off from relationships, from talking, from anything, take it. You need it. Otherwise, things are going to get worse. There were a lot of times that I was having an episode and I had, I was, you know, talking to someone that it would turn into arguments. I had to just leave the conversation because I knew if I would stay there, I would either hurt myself or hurt the other person. I need to calm down and then come back to have the conversation. And keep in mind that this is completely normal. I'm not saying everyone feels it the same. I'm not saying it's like, you know, something you need to deal with. You don't have to feel like you're an alien or you're a freak or you need to explain to people why you're feeling sad. Sometimes you don't even have any reasons and that's fine because that's not how mental health works. But by, at the end of the day, Tomorrow is a new day, it's something one of my friends told me when I had an episode once and at the time I didn't understand it. But then I thought, hey, she has a point. No matter what happens today, if I'm having a good day or a bad day, at the end of the day tomorrow is a new day and good or bad things can happen no matter what I do today. That's why I actually got this tattoo. It basically has the same meaning. Uh, it says that the world reborns every day. Tomorrow is a new day. And every time I look at it, I just remember that. And I'm like, okay, just have to be patient right now. And it's a really tough fight, I know. Um, I mean, I've committed once. And I used to self-harm. And even right now, sometimes I struggle with things that are, you know, breaking the point. But it always passes. And that's the most important thing. You need to be strong. It's a real fight, even if it doesn't look like it. And you, no matter how you distract yourself, whether it's video games, music, shower, walking on the street, which helps me a lot, talking to your friends, chatting, do it. You know, originally I wanted to you know, name all the things I could think but there are just a lot of things that you can do, like uh, writing, reading, even scrolling through, you know, the social media without bullying anyone. <laughs> because no matter how bad you feel, making another person feel worse is even worse. Because what you're feeling, maybe some other person is feeling it even worse at the time I mean and you might trigger them even more and they might actually do something that you all would regret because mental health is real and a lot of people do commit to things they wouldn't do if they wouldn't be pushed too hard I almost never use the same shade of lipstick I use it usually mix things around so don't be surprised when you see me like mixing all these things but, you know, long story short, whatever you think, 
that might help you to just get into something new even if it's to cut some people off cut them you don't owe anyone anything you have one life you can live it however you want even if it's mean I mean, of course try not to be mean but even if you have to cut some people off without explaining anything to save yourself then you need to do it you need to do what you need to do also if you need to cry do it if you need to rest do it if you need to give yourself time do it your body needs it your health needs it your mentality needs it but make sure to get up after it like find something that you can pull yourself up with and even completely change your life if you can because that would be new you and for a while you're too distracted to even think about your you know sadness or anything else sure it will come back again but it will go away again and when you realize that the moments that you're leaving the tomorrow that you don't know might actually be so worth leaving you don't ever want to leave you want to continue leaving just pushing through seeing those really good days I love a glass I really love glass what do you think? <laughs> I think I love it So, I think I'm completely ready to head out. Believe it or not, I do this all the time. And like I said, it helps. It really helps me feel better. And that's the most important thing. And just keep in mind that even when you feel like no one cares, there are a lot of people who care. Like. I mean, I cared enough to make this video and I don't even know you, probably. But I care about the pain you're going through and I know how it feels. And please just keep in mind that even when you don't see it, there are a lot of people who might feel a lot better just because you're smiling at them. You might have known all this already, but these are the things I wish someone would tell me when I was going through it over and over in the past. And I might even go and watch this video myself when I have another episode. Because a lot of people might try to, you know, make you feel bad or make you feel worthless. Or even you might do that with yourself just because of like the smallest flow you might find in yourself. But that's just a small flow. And you don't have to be perfect. Once definition of perfect might not even be the same definition of perfect for someone else. Find your own. Do you relax? Everything is gonna be okay because tomorrow is a new day. Love you.